Uh, this is a, uh, an extract from my second novel called The Missing Kidney, which is published this year, 2008, uh, by Social Disease Books. It's a novel about many things, but uh, mainly about the time when I had a kidney removed in childhood. So this extract is called Burnt Umber, Crimson and Carmine. Nothing happened next, not for a while anyway. The sky cleared, the sun shone down, and the soundtrack of suburbia played on. Birdsong, the swish and hum of newly cleaned cars easing themselves out of driveways, the occasional muffled horn from the motorway a mile or two away, the tweet of two courting robins, the cries of an ice cream van that made me think of Germany for some reason. My skateboard lay some distance away, unhurt. I lay there until finally I unfolded myself from the ground and straightened to find a boulder in my stomach. I felt immovable as it pressed against my every organ, restricted my breathing, presided over my heart, lungs and all the rest of it. I felt sick, dizzy and had an overwhelming urge to urinate. Using my skateboard as a crutch I hobbled home, collapsing through the door. I made it to the toilet and what came out was like an hallucination, a perfect arc of blood splashing from my child's penis and noisily filling the bowl with shades of vermilion, burgundy, dark rum, Aggressive scarlet, salty sangria, burnt umber, crimson and carmine, and also foreboding textbook reds and blacks too. It was like fire in liquid form. The porcelain was a Pollock painting from my own palette, too beautiful and striking and evocative to be recreated or replicated synthetically. It was a portrait of a boy in the grip of illness, an internal breakdown, perfect re perfectly realised for a moment in time, and swept away by the anguished flush of a clammy handle. After that the day was reduced to a series of images, lying on my bed panting, focusing on the wood chip wallpaper in order to regain consciousness, the look of grave concern on the GP's face, my crumpled body being lifted to a car, the Saturday shoppers in town, and my hot head leaning against the window that observed them between bouts of vomiting into an orange plastic bowl that taught me the meaning of the word translucent. translucent. The unfl unfamiliarity of a hospital bed, near naked in my gown and not caring about it. I filled an another bottle with blood and lay back as the doctors gathered around me like elders to a fire to offer their diagnosis. <laughs>